Okay, <clears throat> I'm back. So I prepared a canvas. Uh, I painted it black, and um, these are the colors I'm going to use. They are um, Vallejo uh, Artist Acrylics. This is the 806, the 517, the black is 301. The uh, yellow is the 502 and the white is the 303. And these are for the people that are living in Europe because uh, in Europe you can get these. So um, what I'm going to do is try to recreate what I did yesterday. And I have my little cup, here it is. So what I did was really just put the black on and I do have to get a clean palette knife. That's nice and clean. Smooth it out all over the uh, canvas, making sure it goes over the sides a little bit. Now, why I uh, painted the canvas black, um, for the people that uh, watch Rick Chattel's uh, channel, and if you haven't, um, I would really uh, s suggest you do, because uh, he's doing some awesome, awesome stuff lately. Um, really organic pieces. I love those pieces where he puts all those, um, he pulls uh, these lines through the uh, pour. It's really awesome. It's really beautiful to see. And um, if you haven't been on his channel, just uh, I'll put the link under this video so you can visit him. He's uh, really a really nice guy and uh, never too um, uh, stuck up to give uh, answers to questions he gets and all that kind of stuff. So he's nice. Makes really, really beautiful art. Okay, that's about it. There is a little silicone in here. I forgot. I, I put silicone in um, in all the colors when I added the water because um, silicone is uh, also acts as an anti-foaming agent. The uh, silicone I use um, is really, you eat it every day and people say, oh, that's not true. Yes, it is. You eat this stuff. It's in your food. Especially when you fry stuff or you eat fried food, um, it, it acts as an anti-foaming agent. If you look up um, on Wikipedia, you will look it up, dimethicone, you'll come across it. And of course, it's in all the, um, all the major uh, personal stuff you use for, you know, lotions and shampoos and all that kind of stuff. That, that all involves... Um, dimethicone they have so many names for silicone that you know you probably don't even know that you're using it so much but it's in a lot of uh, things we use daily and a little bit more in this one now with the the a lot of people use um <clears throat> hair oil for um as in selling agents and that's because the uh, there's a lot of dimethicone in that. And usually when you look at in the ingredients, it'll be the first or the second. That's how much that's in there. Okay, we're ready. <coughs> now what I want to do is uh, just fill the cup and I'm going to do it a couple of drops at a time because the colors, I want them really going in and out of each other. So all these colors, I want them to come back and from the beginning to the end. And I think I have my paint too thick. Let's see. Yeah, it's looking a little thick. So it might not work. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> because I, I made this this morning and because there was a little bit of bubbles going on. I thought I'd just let it sit there for a while, but I should have um, checked it first. 
well I'll just uh, if it doesn't work I can scrape it and I can do it again so what I did yesterday was really all I did was put all these colors in a little cup just like that maybe a little more that's it a little white that's that one and the last one the light yellow there we go now it's full so this little cup is 30 milliliters if you want to know I just put it on there like that and then I just pull it like this and as I can see right now it is much much thicker than I used yesterday but that doesn't matter we'll see what happens then I let it go like that yeah it is a, a lot thicker and th the thicker it is you know the less um, of those really big cells you get but I do like it though let me get you up close look at those cells they are really pretty but I'm gonna do something else to it because now that that's something I didn't do yesterday but I want to uh, blow some of that paint into that black and I know so, some of you are going, oh no, please let it stay that way. We love it. I do too, but I still want to do something to it. I like where the black went seeping in. That is really cool. Now, as you can see, the cells are getting bigger. Eh, choices. What to do, what to do. Nah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to, uh, it is really pretty, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah. Now I really want to keep it just like this, but nope, that's not. I just want to see what happens if I would to blow it in there. Yeah. Oh, I'm really nervous. I'm not nervous, but I'm really on the fence in letting it stay like it is or because I'd like to take this to Frankfurt, this one. This is really pretty. <sighs> now I'm not sure what to do. Okay, let's just try. Let's do something else. Put that back a little bit. I still have some black, so let's see what would happen if I did that. So we got the black. And that's the straw. Let's put some more of that paint in here. Let's even put a drop of black in there. Okay. Now I've got too much black. See that? That is sometimes the way it goes. That's the way the cookie crumbles, right guys? Too much black. Oh, but it is beautiful. Okay. Wow. Look at that. Let me get in close. <coughs> I gotta drink something. I'm drinking out of this at the moment. I already um, have, this is my third because they keep breaking when I put um, boiling water in it. <laughs> kind of stupid. Okay, let's see. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Wow, that is really fiery. Look at that, that is beautiful. 
And let's see what happens when we torch it. Oh yeah, that's cool. Sorry, you're out of focus. Let me get you back in there. Oh, that is gorgeous. <laughs> okay. This is the bit there where I blew it all over the place. <laughs> Look how beautiful that is. Oh, going Choices. Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it with this. Who cares? I'll make a new one, right? I can make a new one. Now it's like it's on fire, and that is really beautiful. This is beautiful. That is beautiful, but I really want some, like, see here, all these cells down here? I'd like some here, and I'd like some there, but I don't want to jinx it anymore because I'm pretty satisfied how it turned out now. Let's just do the side. Yep, that's it. Step away, put down the straw, that's it. I think we have achieved what we wanted to achieve. This is beautiful. I'd, I'd hang it like this. I like it. Of course, some people will say, no, we you got to put it up like that. That'd be beautiful too. But I also like it like this. That is beautiful. I'm going to get you guys down. I'm going to pull out my microphone so I'll be uh, losing my, um, my audio. Sometimes that happens. I'll get the other one that I just did beside it. And if the audio goes, you won't hear me anymore, but I'm going to give you a couple of close-ups of this. And the other one, no, let me, wait a minute, we still have time, this is a short video. Let's do one more. Because this has, has possibilities. I really like it. But what about if we didn't spread it, and just put it in like this. and then blow it all around, what would we get? Now I've already heard some people say yesterday, those colors are so vibrant. Yeah, they are. They really are. That reminds me of those flames on those hot rods. They look like that. That is beautiful. Wow. Okay, guys, I'm going to get you down. I'm going to show you close-ups, right? If you can't hear me anymore, love you all to pieces. Libo Shala, and I'll be uh, back later. I'm going to clean all this up because uh, now I'm going to go to the marbling. So might take an hour or something like that, but I'll be back. Right? See you later.
not sure if you can hear me, but here we go. Man, I like that. That is beautiful. the other one. Oh, here. Here it is. Look at that. That is gorgeous.